Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing an empties video. You guys seem to like these. Um, I have quite a lot from like the last six months or so. Um, and um, some of these are cool to free, some of these are not. I'm just trying to use up a lot of the stuff that I have so I can make room for stuff. So yes. But if you are not subscribed yet, please make sure you subscribe and also hit that notification bell so you can be notified of every single upload that I put here on my channel. I'm going to try to upload once a week. Uh, I'm not going to make any like super big promises, but I'm going to try. So we'll see. <laughs> um, but I have a lot because I've literally been gone off YouTube for five ever in a day. Um, if you want to know what's been going on, click up there because it'll tell you the things. Um, but yeah, let's get into the empties. So the first two things are the Hosk Argan Oil Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, I got, this was like the first, like, cruelty-free shampoo and conditioner that I tried. I mean, it did its job, but it wasn't like the best. Uh, just didn't really give any life to my hair it cleansed it but it didn't really help um so yeah that was that will not repurchase that again um I got some exfoliating cleansing towelettes they worked really good for my face um it was really rough on my eyes but I really did like these if you guys have any recommendations for cruelty free exfoliating makeup remover wipes Please let me know, um, because these were amazing, and my skin was really doing some good stuff when I was using these, so, yeah, help me out. Um, the next one, I finished up a bottle of perfume, which I'm kind of impressed, and it is the, um, it's like a knockoff version of the Justin Bieber one, um, I don't know what it was called, but it is called Fun. And it smells just like it. It was really good. Got it from Five Below. And I finished it up. Yes. I finished up the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Natural Finish Setting Spray. I really liked it. It had a really, like, it smelled like toilet water. But it kept my makeup on. But the smell was really bad. So I might try some other ones. I mean, it did its job. But I'm going to try some other ones. Um, and I finished up my Claire's BB Cream. This boy has lasted me a while. I really love this BB Cream. I wish it was lighter because, like, seriously, it's, like, four shades too dark for me. So I have to, like, hella, like, put, like, white, literally white concealer everywhere and, like, mix it with white concealer because I look, I look tan. So, um, yeah, I love this, though. I love this BB Cream. Please come out with a lighter shade, please. I am pale. I am freaking translucent, y'all. Like, but I love this. This was so good. Um, got some Johnson & Johnson to clean my beauty blenders. And I use that. I finished up my Asen toners from Choriotake. The Ace and Tuck Toner and the Oil Cut Cleanser. I will be repurchasing these because they're amazing. Cleanser and toner. Oh, so good. I miss them with every fiber of my being. Um, I went through some melatonin because I can't sleep. Um, yeah, this... I'm getting rid of this. It is the Octavio La Playa Sea Salt Spray. I didn't do nothing but make my hair sticky and gross and I didn't like it. I'm getting rid of it. Um, the Freeman's Mask. The Charcoal Black Sugar Scrub Mask. Um, I liked it but it's just there was so much in it that um, it kind of got old before I could use it all so if I go for it again 
I'll probably get a smaller size if I can find a smaller size. I don't know. I did like this scrub. I would repurchase it, but I just don't use it as often enough and all that kind of stuff. Um, the Koki Refresh Hydrating Setting Spray. I like this. It had like, um, it had a weird smell as well. <laughs> um, so I might repurchase it. I don't know. You can get this at Walmart. Um, it did its job. So I wasn't too sad about that. Um, I got some face masks in here. I really like Freeman's. Um, I don't know if they're cruelty free or not. Not tested on animals. So they are cruelty free. That is good because they have some good stuff. They have some great masks. And they work well with my skin. This was the Dead Sea Anti-Stress Mask. And I need like a million of these because I've been stressed like so bad lately. Mmm. So. Um, I finished up a Clean and Clear Advantage Acne Control because I swear I always have acne. I just turned 30 and I still have acne and I'm like, what? is this shit but I'm pretty sure it's hormonal and stress so I'm done with that um if you guys have any like acne like face washes that are cruelty free please let me know <laughs> I'm I'm in transition right now to do all cruelty free things then uh yeah it's it's rough um I finished up an elf translucent setting powder a really good powder. I love it. I'll always repurchase. I finished up a Madam CJ Walker um hair oil. <laughs> What's this one? It's probably backwards. But I really loved how this helped my hair. It smells so good. It was so good. It smells so good. Um and it made my hair so soft and so nice and so like smooth so it didn't tangle i loved it i'm definitely gonna repurchase that as soon as i can um i finished up quite a bit of liners a, a nika k auto eyeliner in royal purple a elf precision liquid liner a gl I'm just throwing this out because this is an elf like glitter mascara and I was using it for like glitter liner but yeah it's seen some things um I'm throwing out this NYC Showtime glitter eyeliner because it's dried out I'm throwing out the well this is dried out and pretty much used up the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara because um, the Bedhead Superstar Blow Dry Lotion, um, I just, it doesn't work for my hair anymore. I don't know why, like, it just stopped working, and I'm like, um, excuse me, you worked at one point, why you no work no more? We need to talk. Um, and then the Revlon Color Stay, this is the eyeliner in, it's like a sapphire, Use this for my brows. Used it all. It's like, that's as high as, <laughs> yeah. Um, the Stargazer White Powder. Used that up. Love that. Used up a Sugar Candy Apple um, Body Ecology Lotion. Um, I used up the Sephora Bright Set. This is the banana powder I have this was actually in my makeup kit so I used this up completely um and I really like this for um medium to deep skin tones so I really like that I will repurchase this again for my kit uh doo -doo -doo -doo. the elf mineral infused primer I used it up completely I probably won't be repurchasing it because um it, supposedly really bad for your pores so yeah I used uh, the Urban Decay Super Curl Mascara and tossing some brushes that have been used and abused 
um, that have just, that are just, yeah. Some of these brushes, like these two, I've had since the beginning, so rest in peace. These are from Eco Tools, I believe. Um, I've had these literally since the beginning. Um, so yeah, they need to go. And then this one from Oh Hoo Hoo, it has like, it just, it keeps shedding. Like, it's like one of the only ones that like keeps falling apart. So I'm just gonna toss that one. I like all the other ones. Like all the other ones are great and I use them in my kit. But that one, like the chunks keep coming out of, so I don't know. Um, some multivitamins, some more melatonin, because I'm trying to keep healthy and it's really hard, because life is trying to kick me in the butt. Let's see, some more liners, I go through liner like it's candy, um, absolute New York liner, like the thin felt tip liner, I love this, I will repurchase it because it's that good. Um, the Marcel Lux Diamond Glitter Liner will repurchase this because it's so beautiful. It just, oh, it's so beautiful. The, I don't even know what this is anymore because it's so little. Like, these two are so little. So, this was the Wet n Wild, um, Glide On Gel Pencil. Um, I don't remember I don't know the name but uh yeah that one was really good and this one I want to say this was also wet and wild but it was like a brown one I used for my eyebrows when I did like normal colored brows um so that one's gone and then a smashbox full exposure like little sample I had it was really good I might end up getting a full size I already have like a few mascaras that I really like but I did like how this like fanned out my lashes really well. And then I tried this like Jordana cat liner. Um, I didn't really like it because it's kind of like crunchy. Um, and I kept trying to use it. And it just dried out on me before I got to use it all. Um, more mascaras. A YSL mascara like a little sample she a real MVP but like I don't think I could like y'all YSL is expensive like I don't know if I'd, I'd repurchase that honestly um the benefit roller lash y'all she she that bitch she that bitch I love roller lash so I will probably be getting a full size because she that bitch like Everyone was like, oh, I love your lashes. What kind of lashes are they? And I'm like, they're mine. Thanks. <laughs> so I like those. And then the uh, CoverGirl Flames Up Mega Curl. Um, I got this before CoverGirl went cruel debris. So I definitely want to try their stuff again and get some more of their stuff because I really love their lash blast. Mm, girl, I'm so happy. Congrats, cover girl, y'all. Alright, Maybelline, Rimmel, come on, because I love y'all stuff. Y'all have good stuff. Come on, follow cover girl, please. Um, the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. This was bomb. I love this. I got the shade 05 Breeze. This was so good. Oh, I'm going to repurchase this. Um, as soon as I can because the foundations that I have right now suck. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be repurchasing that as soon as I can like finish up the foundations I have because, again, I'm one of those people that has to like finish up what I have even though I hate it with a passion and it looks like shit. I have to try to make it work because I'm stubborn. I finished up the Manic Panic Dream Tone in Virgin, I think it was called. Yeah. Virgin, the white mixer, I finished that up and I bought two more um, from LA Girl or LA Colors. I can't remember. The one that's cruelty free. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, I got a little sample of the Derma E Purifying Charcoal Mask. I really liked it. 
gonna be purchasing a full size because this was bomb like my skin was living um the BH cosmetics smooth canvas primer was really really good I really liked it so I like primer and it like blocked out the redness and the darkness that I had a bunch of there and all the veins and all that so highly highly recommend it's kind of like a matte pink pot honestly um but like a quarter of the price <laughs> um I used fizz to the death like it is just like I've hit pan and it's like dried up so from ColourPop <laughs> this is my favorite color too but it's like all dried up and yeah it's probably way overdue because I bought these like forever ago I don't even want to know how long ago it was um and three more things a mango body mist I used it up because I really like it uh I don't think yeah against animal testing it's NSPA or Inspa I don't know but it smelled so good and I got like it in a set like body scrub and stuff like that so I really liked it finished up a winter candy apple because this is like my favorite holiday scent ever and I wanted to get like a thousand of them but you know <laughs> money um is evil and then I finished up this was I don't even remember when I got this it's the black violet body butter and Lily Koi and it literally smelled like gummy bears I loved it so much like it smelled like gummy bears it was so good I don't even know if this company is still around or not it was like a um, indie company um and uh I have to see if it's still around because I really liked it and it like saved my skin from the winter months y'all it was good shit um, but that is all my empties. I'm sorry that these last few videos have been kind of long. Let me know if you guys are okay with that. If not, I can try to make them shorter. Um, but yeah, those are my empties from like the last six months. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. And, uh, give me some recommendations for your favorite cruelty-free items down below that I should check out. Or you think I should try. And yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and hit the little notification bell to be notified of every single upload. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! It's been 84 years. Um, I finished up the Wet n Wild Natural Finish. Natural? <laughs> I got a lot of Okay.